network security, CCNA real world labs, monitoring. In this lecture, I want to show you two tools that I use. You can treat that as an example of monitoring solutions. Of course, there are hundreds of available applications that you can use. I want to show you two that you can two applications that you can use at home. You can use in a small or enterprise network. Of course, almost all vendors will allow you to download a trial version and take advantage of that. Download a tool like that, play with it, see if you like it, and of course then you can buy a license if you like it. Two applications I want to show you. The first one is PRTG. If you're studying for the CCNA security exam for CompTIA Security Plus Network Plus, it doesn't matter. If you're studying at the moment, I encourage you to play with PRTG and that is the first application I I recommend because it is really easy to set up and later on you can add a lot of advanced features. The good thing about PRTG is that they give you first of all a trial version for I don't know 14 or 30 days and then you can buy a license or they're going to limit the number of sensors that you can use. You can use up to 10 sensors. It means that should be enough for a home network and even for a really small company network. PRTG that you can see on the screen is one of, well, I, I, I think I've got three or four PRTG uh, service. This one, I think there, I, I have a license for 100 sensors and I like to use that one because you can see PRTG in action. You can see all sensors that I decided to enable and that's what I said, you know, be, ooh, right. That is my NAS server, that's not good, I have to check that. Yes, can you see how how important that is? Okay, I I'm going to I'm scrolling it down, and you can see all sensors that are available here. Please note that I enabled I don't know twenty percent of all available sensors, and first of all, it is it is la it. it this application is licensed and I think I, I am allowed to use 100 sensors and second of all I do not need all of them be very careful do not enable everything that you know that uh, that PRTG can recognize don't do it enable things that you need because then you should set up some notifications and Maybe you want to receive an email or a text message or a syslog message, whatever you want. Make sure that you know something like that has been happening for the last, I don't know, two weeks, right? I'm pretty sure I received an email because I have notifications enabled on that guy. And that is a good example. PRTG can uh, run something that is called uh, auto discovery all you really need is well it all depends on a Cisco device the easiest is of course to use SNMP on on a Windows server you can use SNMP as well and that's what I use PRTG can recognize a lot of things without that if you provide a username and password from Active Directory it can it can recognize a lot of things and when it's when it, when it's done, it will show you all available sensors, and then you can decide which ones you want to use. I I've got I don't know three or four servers, and what I like to check is CPU, hard drives, memory, 
and sometimes I like to check additional services for instance here Hyper-V or one of the servers should have uh, IIS and SMTP uh, that one yep exchange I want to make sure that IIS is running and SMTP is up and running okay that's that's PRTG let me show you let's let's go to that guy because that is a good example the limit that I decided to go for was 10% and it is in red because it is 8% now well actually it's not bad because the hard drive is one terabyte yeah so it's not not actually really bad but uh, now let's see you can see live data of course here there's nothing interesting but you can see two days and 30 days and see what happened yeah and there is a table okay I have to verify that because it's really weird. Yeah, and of course, 365 days. Uh, let Let's check something that is better than that one. Because where is it? Where is this? Don't like when they change things. Where is my result? It's just like here we go. I will show you CPU load, right? That is a better example. Live data. Yeah, that is. And you can see well my server is really busy. Yes, it is an HP micro server. The CPU in it is really slow and this server is really busy CPU well, yeah, it is around 50%. That's absolutely fine. It's a small server. And here you have a table that specifies all values, right? Two days, 30 days. You can see the max value here. And of course, you can specify. And this is a good, a really nice tool because when you click it will it will open that in a new window and create in a way a report right and will show you a graph and a few tables yeah it's really nice because what you can do you can take a screenshot or save it as a PDF file and email it to your manager to your client to your friend to your ISP it all depends what you what you're monitoring at the moment It is really easy to add new sensors and probes. You click add sensor, then you go for an existing device, you can add a new one, and then it makes sense to allow PRTG uh, and run this auto discovery feature. It will go to your device, to your server, to your firewall, and we'll try and recognize as many things as possible. I'll show you a Cisco device because here that is a 3550 call switch in my network and I'll show you IPSLA. If you're studying for CCNP you should know IPSLA I use IPSLA because I have two ISPs and I want to make sure it is I ping Google that's why I expect this value to be around 10 milliseconds and there is a rule saying that if it is above 25 milliseconds for at least 300 seconds send me an email 
when it's okay, send me an email as well, right? And that is something that I need because my second ISP, well, ISP, that's, that, that is a 3G connection. It's really slow and I will see that here because it will be like 300 milliseconds, right? I want to make sure that this IPSLA sensor is up. Great. A really nice tool that allows you, let me actually check and see how it behaved. Yeah, that's fine. It can happen. That's why I specified 300 seconds. Let me... Uh, settings... 25 seconds, right? I ping uh, Google every 25 seconds, right? And... 300 seconds to send me an email. And it's okay. Yeah, it, it, it recognized all these things from my Cisco device. Okay, that's PRTG. The second tool I want to show you is Nagus. And there are a lot of versions available. There's a free version and you will spend ages setting it up. It is possible. And there are some pre-configured versions of Nagios as well. And that's what I, I use in my network every day. It arrives as a VMware image, which is awesome. Or Hyper-V, I think. Hyper-V. I think I use Hyper-V. And it's great because I... I do not know anything about Linux. I'm very happy they pre-configured everything. Of course, here they will limit the number of, I think, devices. A very popular tool, especially uh, for ISPs. I'll show you that. That might be pretty slow because it is running on, on one of my HP microservers. That's why it might be pretty slow. Let's go to service details that will give you a nice table of all services. I hope all of them are in green. No, they're not. Yeah, that's not bad. And what I do here, I do some CPU checks as well, but the main uh, the main reason I use Nagios here and the main goal I want to achieve is to monitor my bandwidth yeah, and interfaces. For instance, here uh, I'll show you. Let's check that guy. Yeah, that is an Ether channel that goes to call one to the call one router. And what I set up here. says, oh, you can see my SNMP uh, SNMP uh, string again. What, what, what I say here is that send me a message straight away and then send me every 60 minutes and here I say where is it? That's not the one. Oh, let me... Let's check that guy. The graphs don't work. I don't know why really, but they don't. Uh, where was it? Oh, here we go. Yeah. So I think 70% is a warning and 90% is, 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 is the panic mode. Yeah, an alert. Yeah, something is wrong. And here I have an ether channel that goes to one of my HP switches. 
In this video, I showed you two monitoring tools that are really popular and pretty easy to set up and use, PRTG and Negus. Thank you very much.